Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Jim Lewis, founder of the Brain Injury Education Project. Thank you for your interest in learning how to maximize the effectiveness of the two client neurotrauma videos on domestic violence and substance use disorders. The neurotrauma program is supported by a grant from the Bureau of Justice Assistance. I hold all the copyrights to these materials so they can be shared with others only by my permission. But at the end of this slideshow, I'm going to urge you to go ahead and share these things with your colleagues. So what is this video about? This video is an instructional guide for any professional to learn the most effective use of the two neurotrauma education client videos on DV and SUD substance use disorders. So you just don't start showing these other videos to clients without some kind of introduction. Um, this professional education video is intended specifically for the Westcare counselors and grant partners of the Pasco County, Florida grant program, but it is also for any other medical, mental health, substance abuse counselors, attorneys, and court and judicial professionals. Um, and I know domestic violence advocates want to use it, so it's for all of you too, before you share the other videos with your clients. Uh, so what's special about the Pasco County Adult Drug Court Program? The Bureau of Justice Assistance granted us a, a, a support project for three years. It's the only drug court in the nation that I understand is specifically designed to identify women with these characteristics. Women who have experienced and identify these women who have had neurotrauma events from domestic violence, substance use disorders, SUDs, or both. The grant program also provides individual neurotrauma assessments. There's uh, West Care counselors and supervisors that are trained to administer actual uh, reading and brain function tests to uh, these women clients, and then to provide the clients with these educational videos to help them learn directly. So what are some steps and procedures that you can take as professionals before you share the domestic violence and substance disorder neurotrauma videos with clients? First thing is watch them yourselves. Watch both client videos. I recommend that you watch the DV video first because that's the one you should show the clients first, the domestic violence neurotrauma video. When you're making any kind of uh, introduction to the clients, use your own words. Use your own communication style. You don't have to use my words. Introduce the videos in your own way. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be facilitating client discussions after you show the videos. We'll talk about more that more in a minute. Um, the, the neurotrauma education videos for the client are specifically designed to integrate quite well with Westcare's motivational interviewing model. So what to do before you show the first DV video to, to a client? Uh, understand what you're going to learn about. You're going to learn about the causes of brain injury symptoms in domestic violence and substance disorders. You would tell the client that. You want to tell the client that they're going to learn about decisions that can promote brain healing and prevent further cognitive decline. And you want to tell the clients that they're going to be encouraged that the videos have positive messages about hope and healing. So how to prepare yourself. First, understand where this is coming from. Uh, it's not just coming from academic research. Yes, I did that too. I was a adjunct associate professor of neuropsychology at Catholic University's Graduate School of Arts and Sciences in Washington, DC for many years. But this comes from 40 years of literally sitting with thousands of women doing direct brain injury uh, assessments. And these women had all experienced domestic violence, neurotraumas, substance and, uh, abuse disorder, neurotrauma, or both. So once you understand that's how it is, that's what this is coming from, real life experiences and actual test scores and so forth on these women. When you look at the two videos, before you introduce those to clients, if you have questions, if things are troubling you, you're not sure how you might answer a certain question, there's my email, contact me and I'll help you work your way through it. So you wanna be you know, very comfortable and relaxed and prepared before you show the videos. So then the first video is the domestic violence video. Uh, what is that gonna teach the client? It's gonna teach how injuries occur from inflicted domestic violence concussions 
and hypoxia from mostly strangling events, but some smothering and other things like that, but inflicted trauma. Uh, that video also will provide the clients with specific methods of how to prevent further injuries to promote their brain healing and to reduce cognitive decline from future neurotraumas. The DV neurotrauma video for clients also will talk to them about symptoms that these clients tend to think that all their symptoms are just related to the drugs themselves, which is true, or just related to psychiatric or psychological trauma, PTSD. All those things are true, but it's insufficient to understand all of their symptoms. It's also neurotrauma, so it's an additional. It's not either or thinking, it's and. Yes, they could have these other things, PTSD and so forth, uh, but in addition to that, there's neurotrauma. So their symptoms are coming from multiple causes. And to the degree that they understand that some of their symptoms are coming from neurotrauma, they're going to want to do things that's going to help prevent that in the future. And that's number four, uh, informing the clients that uh, there's ways to help their neurotrauma symptoms improve with certain lifestyle decisions. So what's the goal of the video on substance use disorders? Whereas the domestic violence video instructs the client and you that there's neurotraumas occurring from inflicted intentional injury, intentionally inflicted, hitting their head against the wall, punching them in the face or whatever, and causing injuries to occur, strangling, et cetera, inflicted injury. In substance disorder, you'll notice from when you see the video, these are accidental. Uh, people are getting intoxicated under the influence. They're prone to fights falls and motor vehicle accidents that are producing concussions. It doesn't just have to be motor vehicles. It can be getting on a bicycle under the influence, any of these little powered motor scooters, whatever. Anything that involves reflexes, coordination, impulse control. So those, but those are accidental. That's the difference. It's still concussion. In DV, it's inflicted. In substance disorder, it's accidental. And that video also provides the client with ideas how to improve brain healing and limit decline from substance-induced neurotraumas. So after showing the domestic violence and SUD neurotrauma videos, you want to encourage discussion, individual or group. So one of the things that's come up that you may want to encourage in the discussion is what they learned in the SUD neurotrauma video is how incredibly dangerous um, hypoxia can be from overdose events that they'll learn and you will learn that one or two overdose events can be quite devastating to brain function and you want to create circumstances where if they've already had these uh, events when they've come to you as a counselor enrolled in a residential or outpatient substance abuse disorder treatment program or mental health therapy whatever your profession is you want them to understand that there's ways to help uh, improve these things so you want to discuss with them what did they learn, what did they get out of these different uh, videos, and discuss those in individual or group counseling. So you want to also discuss with them how they're going to apply this, not just learn what it is, but put it in, in action in their lives. So the most important thing is that you understand and your clients understand that neurotrauma injuries from domestic violence and substance disorders are very real. They need to be taken seriously. But in addition to that, there's the positive message that the brain is constantly trying to heal itself, but you can't undermine that process. So the, the brain has the maximum chance for healing with no further concussion or hypoxic injury from either domestic violence or substance use disorder. So it involves the last two bullet points you see here, helping the clients understand to develop motivation to cease all further domestic violence relationship and, and at the same time achieving and maintaining substance disorder abstinence. So that you'll also be aware that there's further videos uh, that are already going to be posted, but also some that are coming in the future to make sure that you have access to all of these. Uh, you'll be able to click on the subscribe button on my YouTube channel and, and you will automatically be able to see these uh, present and future videos. And I'm encouraging you to share these links with colleagues and others who may be interested. So a couple of thank yous. Uh, first, the Westcare Foundation staff and the Sixth Circuit uh, Court in Pasco County, uh, who are the grant partners in the Bureau of Justice Assistance Grant Program. And thanks to Lauren for 
or help with the audiovisual part of this uh, project. So appreciate you being here today and we'll see you in a future video. Thank you.